what's up guys it's uh casper here and i'm at my next mural space so there's a big blue wall here um definitely not looking forward to painting in all these crazy areas like you can see on this wall just here like check these pipes out all down the wall the the design that i'm doing will be a bunch of blue wrens so they're these tiny little blue birds that hop around everywhere here in wadonga they're really pretty got like blue and black on them and that's what all these birds are going to be i'm going to incorporate in all these shapes so you can see this pole here I painted it white painted these bricks white everything that's white is going to be painted with color we got the pole back here these bricks uh, i still got some more to do i might even paint this big pipe in here and you can see the birds along so some more one two i got one bird here for flight a bit of movement in the piece should be one of my favorites to paint and then this big guy hanging out at the front this is all being done at uh, henry's bakery this is in wodonga cool little town um, and i'll be painting a whole bunch of murals here days I haven't filmed too much because it's been a lot of just like priming poles and, and boring areas but today I can start painting some of the birds and uh, some of the foreground so I'm just rocking up here uh, Henry's is like it's pretty cool at the front it's got the, the world's largest rolling pin <laughs> it's a funny little claim to fame uh, the wall that I'm painting is just on the side of that but check out it's just here colors look terrible so early in the morning but uh, it's the Mario Kart that I painted. Hey. If you want to see that uh, full clip, I'll chuck the link up. Just uh, click through. Already get stuck into it nice and early. It'll be a bit more fun now once I get my spray cans out. And uh, yeah, remember to like and subscribe to my channel if you're into these videos, because uh, I create ones like this all the time. first piece of color uh, I'm gonna continue this through the rest of the piece so uh, some of the areas will be more simple to keep some some blank space it's pretty busy and with all these pipes along the wall I can't do that along the whole thing so I wanted to sort of minimize it a little bit in areas like for example that little flower shape is there it's gonna be super simple nice and yellow but the next section we got is just up here on the top you can see that designs pretty similar to what you see at the front uh, but yeah, time to color in the next section. The section number two done. It's got a pretty few more up this way just to balance out the composition. And then I'm probably gonna get stuck right into painting these birds. comes one of the more fun parts close to no battery left on my camera here which is awesome for creating videos stupid forgot to bring my uh, battery pack so we'll see what we can get and uh, we're gonna have fun with it done for day three here 
I've just chucked uh, a lot of colors down. I finished up one of the wrens. This is the front entrance just here in the sun. I'll be back in tomorrow to hit this guy just here. Two more birds and then I think the rest of it, it's gonna be an interactive mural. So I've left a lot of these sections white and they're just gonna fill them in with a brush. Cool, I'll see you tomorrow. I'm back here on the next day, working on the next bird here. And this guy's really tiny. It's a bit of a challenge to get that detail. Uh, day four done. So we got this little dude at the front. Are we gonna have the kids coming in and painting all these areas? You see all the colors and where they can actually color in. So it's gonna be fun. Teach them along the way, whatever I can. I guess we'll come back and um, jump into it with the students. for anybody who wants to create like nice little thin lines as they're spray painting. There's these little things you can buy from the graffiti stores or from paint shops. Um, they're like stencil caps. I, I like to make my own because then you can make them in different sizes and everything. But all you need is this. So it's just a stock standard uh, little lid. So this is off like a cheap, cheap spray can. And all you do is you saw down like this and then down in the back. So as you can see, it's sort of open in the back area. And then you just get like either a drill bit or I just heat it up like a nail and I push that through that way the, it melts and it's, it's really, really nice and um, a clean finish. And I push it through so you can see that little hole through the center. And then when you grab any spray can, similar to any other paint, you can just pop this on, cap in the back. The reason why you cut the section out is so your hand can get in here like that. And there you go, it sprays through this tiny little hole. The one thing you're gonna to have to do is clean it over and over and over again. Uh, it's just what you have to do with these spray paints, but it's a really cool way to get this splattery thin effects. And yeah, spray through, clean it up, and you can get these tiny little lights. finished the uh, the main run at the front this is what everyone's gonna see from the street so it's sort of more important to put really good detail on this guy and um, I'm pretty happy with him and this is sort of what he looks like from the street Up piece just here. 
There's gonna be a few more things added in like the shade sails up here. They're gonna be changed into some like colorful type of shade class, brand new. So it's really gonna complement the piece. And up here, there's gonna be a sign back installed, similar to the one at the front, but it's gonna be right in that sort of blank area. Pretty happy with it, all finished up. It's super different and there's nothing like this in this town, so I'm hyped on it.